now let's talk about the technologies that we've built into macOS Big Sur that will make the transition to Apple Silicon smooth and seamless for both consumers and developers. These new Mac systems will be incredible and users will want their favorite apps to take full advantage of the capabilities of our custom silicon. And the best way to do that is with native apps. So of course, when we updated our apps for Big Sur, we built everything as native for Apple Silicon. And I'm happy to say we have all of our own Apple apps, including our most demanding pro apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro up and running as native now, and they'll be ready for customers on day one. So how did we do this? We're using Xcode, just like all our developers will. Everything developers need to build apps for these new chips is built into the new version of Xcode. To get started, developers just open their app projects and recompile. And the vast majority of developers can get their apps up and running in just a matter of days. And to deliver these apps, we've created Universal 2. It's a new type of universal binary that works on both Intel-based Macs and Macs built on Apple Silicon. So developers can tap into the native power and performance of our new Macs and still support Intel-based Macs all with a single binary for all of their users. Some of the biggest Mac developers have already gotten started. Microsoft is hard at work on Office for the Mac. And we've been working with Adobe on their flagship Creative Cloud and many of their apps are already up and running great. So let's take a look at macOS running on Apple Silicon. So here we are on the desktop that we know and love. And I'm just gonna open up about this Mac. And what you see here is that we are running on our Apple development platform. This is a system built to support early development using the same A12Z processor currently shipping in iPad Pro. Now, I have a confession to make. This isn't the first time you've seen macOS running here. In fact, this is the same Mac that Beth and I used to demo all the new Big Sur features earlier. And as you saw earlier, we've updated all of our Apple apps and they're running great. Of course, a big part of the Mac experience is third-party apps. And we've been working with our friends at Microsoft and they already have Office up and running natively on our new Macs. Let's take a look at Word. It runs great. Scrolling is super smooth. Everything you do is just super responsive. Next, let's check out Excel. Just as you'd expect, complex sheets and elements like this map all update instantly. And next, let's take a look at PowerPoint. Now, it's using metal for rendering and it performs great. For instance, check out how I can see all the layers of my slide in 3D. The animation is perfectly fluid. Now, we've also been working closely with our friends at Adobe to bring Creative Cloud to our new Macs. Here's Lightroom running native on Apple Silicon. Navigating large libraries of DNG images is super fast and all of Lightroom's editing controls are available right here. Now, let's apply an adjustment to this image. Well, that's much better, and we can apply that same edit to all of these images in a single step. Looks great. Next, let me show you the app I know many of you wanna see, Photoshop. Here's a five gigabyte Photoshop file by photographer Stephen Wilkes. Now, this is a heavy duty document with lots of layers. Now, let's add one more bird in there. Not totally comfortable with the level of social distancing, but let's keep going. And let's check out how smooth the animation is as I zoom out. Wow, beautiful. Finally, let's turn to one of our most sophisticated apps, Final Cut Pro. Here it is running on Apple Silicon for the first time. Let's play back some 4K video. As you can see, playback is super smooth and all your filters are here and you can apply them in real time. Let's try some color correction. And I can even add animated titles and lens flare, all during live playback. And Final Cut takes advantage of the unique capabilities of the Apple Neural Engine with a new feature that analyzes video and intelligently crops it to keep the most important action in the frame. But that's not all. Final Cut fully exploits the system's multi-core architecture to let us play back not just one or two, but three streams of full resolution 4K ProRes, all on an A12Z processor. Amazing. So that's a first look at Universal Apps 
on Apple Silicon. We're really excited to see so much great work on native apps. These apps even get more amazing when they're built to take advantage of the Silicon's powerful capabilities, like its incredible CPU and graphics performance, a unified memory architecture, and the neural engine, which accelerates advanced machine learning tasks.